Okay, so first of all, I've got to address. You guys does not mean all Mitzis or all people who have listened to sneakers. By you guys, I mean the people who are, and not just criticizing, bashing and hating sneakers and Itzy. Now, listen, it's okay to not like a song. For example, I don't like Sticker by NCT, but you don't see me making a whole video and writing in my title, oh my gosh, NCT should disband. Like, no, you won't see me doing that. But anyway, what I mean with this point is, some people listening to Itzy are never satisfied. You know, Itzy's first couple comebacks were about self-love, right? Like Della Della, I See, Wanna Be. Now, even on their second comeback, I See, Itzy got heavily criticized because people were saying it was too messy and blah blah blah. But like, it was not to the same extent as Sneakers. And after Wanna Be was released, some people were loving it as they should. But some people, specifically K-tubers, were saying Itzy should switch concepts. The self-concept, self-love concept is getting boring. They also said this was not shy. Then in 2021, Itzy did switch their concept, changing it to a more girl crush type with In The Morning. People would be happy with this, right? Wrong. The same people who requested a concept change were telling Itzy to just go back to their old concept. Old Itzy was so much better. Itzy fell off. And it continued with Loco. So fast forward to now, Itzy did change their concept again, back to fun self-love like Icy, which everyone was claiming that they wanted back. Itzy also implemented a royal type concept that everyone was going crazy over in the teaser photos. The royal teaser photos were released first, but when the other side of the concept teaser photos were released, people were not happy. They wanted only the royal concept, nothing else. And people began to think it was a prank. Now, I still don't know if Itzy did play us a little bit. You know, checkmate is about outsmarting your opponent. I mean, they did, they did trick some people into thinking it was going to be all the fun summer concept. However, they did use the royal concept too. But the idea of it being a prank was actually not good for Itzy because people were determined that this was a prank and were so confident in that fact that when sneakers released, they were really, really disappointed. But how would you feel if as a K-pop artist, people listened to your song teaser and said, this is so bad, it must be a joke, right? Like, I don't think they would like that, would they? Now, many YouTubers are making videos about sneakers. When you search up in the YouTube search bar, sneakers itsy review, the majority, 90% of them, you will see are negative. And they're using these big keywords on their thumbnails to gain attention, such as itsy flopped, itsy disband, this was trash, sneakers flopped, whatever, just to get views. Now, saying a song flopped is what people have been doing for ages. But my problem comes is when people are saying itsy disband and hating on itsy and not the song itself. Is it that hard to peacefully dislike a song? You know, but you can also keep it to yourself. You don't need to tell everyone, Sneakers is so bad, don't stream it. Sneakers is so bad, don't listen to it. Sneakers is so bad, Itzy should disband. Obviously haven't listened to it, or what is your problem? Like, what's the point of that? Anyway, basically a summary would be, give Itzy a break. If you don't like Sneakers, you don't like it, but you can dislike it peacefully. Okay, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.